the official Arsenal yearbook from 93. The front cover. Of course, Tony Adams there with the FA Cup. The introduction with a lovely logo there with Ian Wright. All the content, Tony Adams. A bit of a mention on the new stand, redeveloping the North Bank. The Gunners. The Premier League results. We start off in August, followed by September. And a bit of mention there's only one Tony Adams. There's games, there's wins. Paul Merson. Back down to earth, there's Ian Wright in that famous Arsenal shirt against his former club Crystal Palace. There in November. A picture of Ian Wright with the FA Cup. The right to strike. The young ones, there's Ray Parler. The Romford Pele. December. Christmas cheer. January, the New Year's resolution. Another picture of Paul Merson. Of course, David O'Leary's last ever season with Arsenal before joining Leeds. And a bit on Paul Merson. February, George strengthens the squad with new signings. Martin Keown joins Arsenal from Everton to March. A bit about former boxer, can't remember his name. Should be, uh, his name should be Danny something. Michael Watson, from about him doing the marathon. More about George Graham. Something about the Gunners ladies. The Coca Cola Cup Run. Probably more famous for Steve Marrow's goal and being dropped. And I mean being dropped. More on the Coca-Cola Cup final, beating Sheffield Wednesday 2-1. Of course, Steve Marrow getting the winning goal. April. The Premier League results didn't get any better that season. The eyes on the horizon, the FA Cup final. A demanding season. There's Bray Parler, the Arsenal Stars. The Arsenal Museum, of course, in the old North Bank at Highbury. The FA Cup run on their way to Wembley. The FA Cup final, that first Cup final against Sheffield Wednesday was boring. Not a good final, but they played midweek. Andy Linnigan scoring the winning goal. Not one of the most favourite players at Arsenal, but was he a cup hero that night? And um, that's the end of the book. Arsenal's Roll of Honours, including the first team to win the FA Cup and League Cup in the season in 93. Not a bad book for a fiver. Good book. Whether you're an Arsenal fan, or not. Anyway, thank you for watching my review on this book, and I'll say goodbye.